polynomial regression. It is a regression algorithm that models the relationship between the dependent and the independent variable as n at degree polynomial. Leaving out all the technical terms, let's look into uh, a practical example of it. So let's take a data set where the points looks something like this. So we have our data points, something like this. Let's take some few more points. Okay. So if we plot a straight line for this, it should be something like this. And if we look into the points, the points are in this stage. So if we plot a straight line for this, we will be having oops, something like this. Now, this is quite good as of now. If we have to predict somewhere for 2012, uh, the money would be something over here, 10,000. But if we have to predict somewhere between over here, 2020, it will be showing, uh, let's say 50K. But in reality, the point that lies over here tells me that it should be 25K. So you can see that this straight line is not a much of a better fit for this kind of scenario. Over here, uh, we can't really do a good job using a straight line. What if for the same point, something like this, if we are able to get a line which is not straight but more of a curve, this is known as polynomial regression. So now for the same 2020, we were able to predict 50 using a simple linear regression algorithm. If we use the same using polynomial regression, we will be getting some 25k. So this is using simple linear regression and this is using polynomial regression that is where the polynomial regression comes into play and that's how helpful polynomial regression can be these are also known as nf nf degree polynomial because we can actually set up the degree of it we also have different kinds of we also have quadratic regression if we want we can have a graph something like this rather than having a straight line we can also have a cubic polynomial this and what we are focusing right now is polynomial regression like this so we can have different kind of graph it totally depends upon the data what we have just plot out and scatter plot and look into the kind of data we are focusing and what kind of a line you want if you need a polynomial line if you need a cubic line everyone has a different now polynomial regression is the special case of simple or uh, multiple linear regression in ml because we add some polynomial terms to the multiple linear regression equation to convert it into a polynomial regression so you can see that we only have a single predictor over here that is x1 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 and all of these are in the nth degree okay whatever degree you want to mention so you can also it totally depends what how much power you want the highest power you go and the line curves moves more like this Okay, it totally depends on which way you are moving. Okay, so the lesser the power, the lesser the curve will be. Okay, so this is the equation for polynomial regression. It is a linear model with some modification in the order to increase the accuracy. The data set used in polynomial regression for training is of non-linear nature. Okay, so we have the simple linear model as I've told you. So these are the points and if we plot out a straight line you can see that it is not a better fitting uh, model line for this whereas in this area if we use this polynomial model we are getting a better fit 
there's a specific need on when we have to implement the polynomial regression if we apply a linear model on a linear data set then it provides us a good result as we have seen in this case of simple linear regression so whenever we have the linear data set where the data is quite follows a linear trend we can have a good fit using the linear regression model but if we apply the same model without any modification on a non-linear data set then it will produce a drastic output due to which loss function will increase the error rate rate will be high and accuracy will be decreased so just as we can see in this example we have non-linear data so if we put out a simple li linear model we can guess out that the error rate error rate will be quite high so for such cases where data points are arranged in non-linear fashion we need the polynomial regression model that's it for this video i hope all of these are making sense by now the le the cost function and the gradient descent is same for all of them we don't really need to know much more of the back end of it let's directly jump into jupyter notebook and start implementing polynomial regression using our sklearn library